Zimbabwe, um, the second strongest African team? Yeah, perhaps so. Uh, we, we, we can say that we showed the world who we are and where we come from. Yeah. Uh, very powerful uh, nation. Remember when Zimbabwe came here, was unranked, was unknown. It is your first time to come to work. Well, my mistake, I said second strongest. I know Malawi are doing better, yeah. but it's a small, the gap is being shortened. The gap is being shortened, but the African Malawi is in South Africa as well. Don't forget that South Africa is quite strong as well. Yeah. So I'm proud of African teams that uh, all of them are in the top picks. So as a journalist for Zimbabwe, how what are your views on how Zimbabwe performed in this year? I'm impressed because uh, Zimbabwe came here as underdogs. Nobody was giving Zimbabwe a chance to win him in a single game. They thought Zimbabwe would be bashed uh, 100 and something. Because when we heard that we will play Jamaica, a lot of people uh, feared that Jamaica will actually thrash Zimbabwe maybe by 100 points. But you uh, know, we're there. Jamaica is good, but we're there. We actually tried. But they are better than us. So, and actually, as a journalist interviewing some of the Zimbabwean players, how, what has the response been from the actual players themselves? Are they okay or disappointed? Uh, they're not disappointed. They're actually happy because when they were told, when they heard stories, when they watched Australia, when they watched Jamaica, the New Zealand, they thought they got no chance. And uh, most of them, they are proud that they finally they met their own model. Because they watch Jamaica play, they watch Australia play. Zimbabwe has never been to a World Cup. They've never been to any bigger tournament. It was their first time. Now to meet, just to meet those uh, people, it was a positive for them. In the West now, it's a bonus to finish in top eight. And you know, you see that even though Zimbabwe didn't win, the joy and achievement of the players, even so they gate crashed the BBC yes. uh, interview and it was on the BBC News. Yes, it was on the BBC News. It was amazing. They actually stole the tournament by their tenses. Normally the Jamaicans were told they were going to do some tensor, but they didn't do any tensor or tensor, but Zimbabwe came in there. Uh, tensed the whole entire uh, country in the United Kingdom, they fell in love with Zimbabwe. The next World Cup is going to be in the continent of Africa. Yes. What hopes do you have for Zimbabwe? Uh, no, the girls, they will take what they learned from here and develop uh, further. We just hope the government of Zimbabwe and the sponsors will come on board now. Now that Zimbabwe has been put in me on a uh, world map, don't forget that these are the people who have been the brand ambassador for the country. They are actually good ambassador for Zimbabwe. They are taking Zimbabwe higher and higher. The world now knows Zimbabwe Network team. So in South Africa, we hopefully, with the good funding, these girls will prepare properly. They didn't prepare properly coming here. They just had a few friendly matches. Now that they've seen what these girls are capable of doing, they have to prepare, they put money, they fund this girl. So that in four years' time, because we bash our fellow Africans from Jamaica, if we hit them, hit Australia, we are world champions. Ezra? Yes. I hope you are a prophet. Thank you very much. <laughs>